How is polyethylene glycol made? Have you ever wondered how polyethylene glycol, or PEG, is produced? This versatile compound is used in everything from medicines to industrial applications, so let's dive into its production process. Polyethylene glycol is made through a process called ethoxylation. This involves the stepwise addition of ethylene oxide to a starting material, which can be water or ethylene glycol itself. When producing PEG with a higher molecular weight, a lower molecular weight PEG is often used as the initiator. The reaction can be carried out in either the gas phase or liquid phase, but in industry, liquid phase polymerization is more common. This process uses a catalyst, typically sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide, to speed up the reaction. The reaction takes place in a steel reactor equipped with a circulating pump and an external heat exchanger, or in a batch reactor with mechanical stirring. Here's a closer look. The raw materials, including ethylene oxide, are preheated and then enter an adiabatic reactor. The hydration of ethylene oxide can also be done in a steel reactor with a circulation pump and heat exchanger. During the reaction, the mixture gradually condenses into PG. The reaction ends when the pressure drops below 98 kPa. PSAR. After the reaction, the residual ethylene oxide is replaced with nitrogen and the catalyst is neutralized. As the molecular weight of PEG increases, it turns into a viscous solution and eventually forms a waxy substance that remains soluble in water. The ethylene oxide used must be pure and handled under nitrogen protection due to its flammable and explosive nature. The reaction conditions are quite harsh, with high temperatures and pressures, and a lot of heat is generated that needs to be managed carefully. To ensure safety, the reaction is carefully controlled, and the feed rate of ethylene oxide can be adjusted to manage the heat released. This method allows for the production of high-purity PEG with minimal risk of explosion. In summary, the production of polyethylene glycol involves precise control over reaction conditions, the use of catalysts, and careful handling of raw materials to produce a versatile and widely used compound.